a Roman cross. Yet Jesus died on that. You see, I don't care what you believe, just read history. It's a historical fact. So the question we have to ask is, what are we going to do with this man of misery? Six hours on a piece of wood has now completely changed history. You see, we pimped Jesus out, made a sacrifice for foolery, like I'll go to church on Easter and wear the cross as jewelry. But you see, the cross wasn't a symbol of faith. It was a symbol of death. Now imagine if someone had an electric chair hanging around their neck. So what was different about that man that day that he could take something that kills and turn it into something that saves? You see, he was unique because he was innocent. God actually became man. Now that's different. And on the cross that day, he said, I'm not dying because of me. I'm dying because of you. And not for the sins you have done, but for the ones you will do. And on the cross, God treated Jesus like he was us. He poured his wrath out on the Son so that he might show that he is just. You see, he took our filth and our sin. And the beauty is when you trust in Jesus, you're included in him. But walk with me what it must have been like that night when it looked like the Son of God had lost the fight. No heartbeat, no breathing, no sign of life. Jesus actually tasted death, and it didn't feel right. Have you ever let that sink in? That Jesus died. No, really, Jesus actually died. Three days in a tomb laid lifeless his remains, like the king had given up his crown, given up his reins, but all of a sudden, come Sunday, something started to change from the grave. You heard a thump, and blood starts pumping in his veins, blood pumping, heart beating instantly, Satan fell, his power break, because the Son of God was dead, and now the Son of God was awake, and every breath that he took was another punch to Satan's face, showing that we are not under sin, but that we are under grace. So rejoice with me, because when he went to the grave, so did you, and when he rose again, you became new, so instantly we're perfectly spotless when we were spiritual whores because our entire life we feasted on sin and when we couldn't pay our tab, Jesus walked over to our table and said, I'll take care of that. So church, walk in freedom because you are free. The resurrection is a stamp showing it's a guarantee, a royal decree, proclaiming we are children of the King. So when your mouth pant, let your life always say, risen.